We've been hearing about climate change for some time now, often thinking of it as nothing more than just science talk. But climate change is no science fiction. It is a real threat for many people around the world. This phenomenon has brought about degraded landscapes, declined soil fertility, increased rain variability, soil erosion, droughts, among others. These climate change impacts are felt most sharply by developing countries, which depend significantly on agricultural production and are therefore particularly sensitive to weather conditions. In many of these countries, women play a major role in agricultural activity. They can be responsible for growing crops and livestock, in addition to taking care of the household and all the members of the family. As a result of climate change, the daily stress and workload of women can increase. Why is that? 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 Sociocultural norms tend to favor men, for instance. Law in certain African countries limits women's property rights, which means that they depend on their husband or other male members of their families to own land and work tools. Despite the fact that they are most often responsible for the functioning of the household, women don't have much say in the decision-making process. The most profitable crops and animals are raised by men, leaving women with a limited source of income. Unequal access to information and education and the lack of relevant knowledge make women more vulnerable to the effects of climate change. In some countries, collecting water is an exclusive task of women and girls. As a consequence of prolonged droughts, they have to walk longer distances to find it. This can result in exposure to diseases and insecurity, and leaves them with less time for education and other productive activities or even resting. The impacts of climate change already threaten crop production, making cash and food crops scarcer. This reduces income and raises the costs for shopping and production. All this, combined with current socioeconomic problems, can raise poverty levels. If development projects are to succeed, we need to see women as agents of change, as strong drivers for mitigation and adaptation. It cannot be denied that women play important labor roles and exhibit critical management skills and agricultural and environmental knowledge. For this reason, it is essential that women be involved in development projects. Also, their opinions need to be taken into account for the development of successful climate change solutions. Besides being less averse to change and adaptation, women tend to spend more in relation to the needs of the household rather than personal needs. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, estimates that the total number of hungry people around the world could be reduced by 12 to 17 percent if women's access to and control over resources were equivalent to that of men. In order to accomplish a gender-sensitive investigation, we suggest Inclusion of women through use of gender-sensitive research tools, taking into account, for example, daycare for children during workshops, whether the time of day is convenient, taking into account cooking hours, transportation issues, etc. Interviewing women as well as men in survey work. collecting data related to women's empowerment indicators, such as women's control over assets, 
income, and benefits, and women's participation and decision-making at the household and community levels.